I feel like a little boy on Christmas morning every time Vice uploads another episode of Hollywood Love Story. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about or you haven't seen my other two videos, I recommend you go and watch them, but if not, I'll catch you up to speed rather quickly. In episode one, we covered Sergio and the Spirit Sisters. In episode two, we covered Remy and May. Today, we're going to be covering a man named Joshua Scruggins and my new favorite character, the director, but I don't want to spoil anything. Let's jump into it. Sprinkled throughout these stories is the fairy godmother of fame herself, Paris Hilton. She drops these absolute truth bombs that helps these characters navigate through this tumultuous lifestyle because she's done it all herself. You know, she worked from the bottom and now she's here. She looks up at the glitz and glamour palm trees and is like, ah, I'm an influencer. Who am I kidding? She doesn't do any of that. All she does is fill the void of NPC dialogue to help you along this spiritual journey. Buckle up. Some people move to Hollywood and completely lose their mind. They get involved in a lot of negative things, like drugs and bad people. I love how the B-roll just doesn't match what she's talking about. She's like, yeah, people move to LA, you know, they get involved with the wrong crowds, they do bad things. Meanwhile, she's just zooming in on a dumper, yo. She's looking at actual cheeks on her phone. It can be hard to avoid if you hang out in certain crowds because sometimes the bad people have smiles on their faces. I've seen them come out here and do really well and then ruin their chances because they fall in love with the party lifestyle. You can't tell me this girl's not a quest giver. She hasn't looked at the camera once. She's glued to her phone looking at butt cheeks. Meanwhile, she's supposed to be giving us the lowdown on all the negative effects of social media and how this glamorous lifestyle isn't all that meets the eye. There's our boy, <laughs> Joshua Scruggins. Here we go, baby. 3.3 thousand followers, man. is an absolute legend on Instagram. He's blowing up, okay? Just give him some time. My name's Joshua Scruggins. I'm just a country bumpkin trying to stack up all these honeys. I run off with the money. Yeah, I run off with the money. Absolute bars from our boy Joshua, am I right? Run off with that money. <laughs> Now I have to sit in this money for the rest of the video. But you, you always interrupt me. Mama said I got a problem. I can't stop counting money. I was broke my whole life. Best believe it's about this money. This man's rhyming money with money. <laughs> what an absolute genius. So I got this money. I'm counting this money. Mama said I ain't got no money, but then I show her the fucking money. Am I right? Lyrical genius. God! The day I landed in LA, I was like, I, I gotta figure this shit the f out. I'm fashion, bro, and everybody in, in rap wants to be fashion. This guy either has absolutely no fucking drip, or he's Mr. Fawcett failure himself. Man is sopping wet with fashion. I can't tell. I can't tell. You let me know in the comments, you know? Maybe he's got some pieces I don't know about. There's no place like LA. If you can seize those moments and realize that you're blessed to be here and not supposed to be here, you can do whatever you want you really can just put your mind to it and do it in the last episode of hollywood love story remy said she hates when she goes to dudes places and all they have is a bed on the floor with no frame piece of toast bread looking mattress on the floor josh is killing it he's got a bed and a frame right he sleeps like a king wait a second is that a Helix mattress? Today's video sponsor? Let's go! Josh is killing it! Today's video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding designed to fit your needs, conveniently shipped in a box right to your doorstep. A lot of people just gloss over the fact that you spend over a third of your life sleeping. So to me, sleep is 
tantamount in terms of importance. And that's why I trust Helix Sleep to give me some of the best sleep I've ever had in my life. Everybody's different and Helix knows that, so they made a sleep quiz that helps match your unique body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Based on your different sleeping positions and firmness preferences, they have something for everyone's unique taste. If you guys sleep with a partner, you can take the quiz together and find the perfect compromise for both of you. I've been sleeping on my Helix for a little bit over eight months now and based on my results they matched me with the midnight lux and let me tell you i've been sleeping on a cloud like an actual king one of my favorite parts about helix sleep is how safe and easy it is to buy one of their mattresses online instead of going to an old crusty dusty mattress store where the old ghoul salesman tries to sell you a mattress for ten thousand dollars that breaks your back anyway like Come on, those days are over. It comes rolled up in a box, delivered right to your doorstep. You don't even have to leave your house for free. I mean, you can't beat it. Helix mattresses are super easy to set up by yourself. From start to finish, it took me just under five minutes, and the whole unwrapping process was really satisfying. Your entire brand new bed just springs to life before your eyes. If it makes you guys nervous to buy something online that you haven't tried yet in person, Helix Sleep offers a 100 night sleep trial. For whatever reason, if you don't completely fall in love with your brand new mattress, they will come and pick it up for you, no questions asked, and you guys will get a full refund. Helix mattresses come with a 10 year warranty, they offer a whole host of flexible payment plans, and they even have financing options, so a great night's sleep is never that far away. I love my Helix mattress, and I think you guys would too. If you're in the need for a new bed, check out Helix. You guys can go to helixsleep.com slash Philion, or just click the link down below, and you will receive up to $200 off your new mattress, plus two free pillows. Thank you to Helix for sponsoring this video. This man's on that Kesho wavelength, right? Brushes his teeth with a bottle of Jack? Are you kidding me? What planet are you on, buddy? <laughs> what vibe are you on? <laughs> boys. Who are these kids? Hey, you can't block the sidewalk, bro. <laughs> What's up, Fully? Pull up. <laughs> it's always a good time when the boys just pull up. Pull up. Should we go to the back? No, pull up. Why you gotta make it difficult? I'm a s. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> hey, so I can't leave my whipping? Yes, bro. Pull it in front of the sidewalk, though. I'm losing brain cells. Just park and start hanging out already. <laughs> this is going on way too long. What is that? Mean? Oh, right there, yeah. you. Alright. How many times do you gotta say that shit? <laughs> Look at that tattoo, man. The YSL, the Yves Saint Laurent, right on the neck, you know? Nothing screams, I am fashion, than getting a designer brand yatted on your neck. Unless you're getting fat sponsorship endorsements from modeling YSL. What are you doing, buddy? It's a couple of my young bloods right here, you know, we got Miguel, Trap Star. Listen, I'm not here to shame anyone's following count, but like why even include it? This man's got 681 followers like yeah, you know as if we're supposed to know who these people are <laughs> We got Eugene young model finesse kid. We got Mo my designer the the beat master chef in it in the lab My youngin, some of my youngins right now Josh is good people, you know what I mean? It's L.A. It's there's, rare there's to find good people. Good people. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> you find good yeah. people, that's your people. I think these people lack the executive functioning to decipher between a real friend and a fake friend. Everybody in L.A. just wants to get with each other and climb the social ladder in any way that they can. Just <laughs> suck any sort of genuine human interaction out of a scenario so that they can just get one little inkling of clout. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. I mean, I've been through some shit. I shed light. I like, I, I that's what I do. You know what I mean? I keep them around to sh show me what's, what's new on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> he's just not, he's just not on that, like, thirst shit. Like, he's cool and he, he out here he's living his natural, life. Like, bro, it's, it's not exactly. bro, it's doing him and then exactly. Just slowly recognizing exactly. the, like the shit, and then it's not like he's trying to do that how, shit. That's how you do it. <laughs> Home.
homeboy is trying so hard to complete this sentence. <laughs> I'm gonna let him have it. I'm gonna let him have it, all right? You know, he's killing it. He's just, just doing his shit. You like. know, it's not some shit. It's not like you trying. You see my wearing something you wear. It's like you do you, fuck. Like you do some shit that's different. Fuck all of that shit. Why do I feel like Joshua kisses them on the forehead at night? Just, thanks, King. We lift each other up out here. <laughs> He looks mad emotional. When did you move to LA? I moved to LA from Richmond, Virginia, like 2010. Because I was Because so I was high. I was out there trapping and I was up. I'm a user hustler. I'm a hustler, you know what I'm saying? I work how many jobs? I, I model, I style, I throw parties. I mean, I'll still host here and there, but not as much as I used to. Man's on his grind, all right? He's getting after it in physical fitness. He's trying to get that mental clarity. He's got a creative outlet, you know, which we're going to learn about in a few seconds. I'm making music right now. Everybody said I wouldn't be shit. Now I got dimes, sit my phone like I need dick. Also some fiend shit, took one off the quap. Now I got three zips. Three zips. You can catch Came a long way, bro. Guy is spitting absolute bars. And his friend is just like, where am I? Came a long way, and I know I have a purpose. I'm like, this fashion shit really is it, but this music is gonna take off. I already I feel it in my bones. Can somebody please explain to me the physics on how people wear hats like this? It's not even connected to his goddamn earlobes. It's just floating on his scalp. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see those kids on TikTok wearing trucker hats or out at bars even, you know, the frat boys, Bass Pro Shop, but they wear it like a fucking 10 gallon hat. It just sits on top. Any sort of gentle breeze or wind gust would just blow it into oblivion. How do you wear that? What is the look? I'm doing some stuff with the Interscope, like a sub label, I guess, and... And, uh, yeah, man, thinking about signing with them, and I'm going to bring the fashion to the hip-hop world. I'm going to show them what it is. Here's the thing. If you're coming into the rap game or hip-hop, guns a-blazing, just like, yeah, I am fashion, right? Your music better back it up, right? You can't come in here talking all this big game about how well you dress or how much style you have. And your bars are doo doo butt cheeks. You know what I mean? Bro, stop hitting me up, dog. I am the pinnacle of fashion. Man has an Apple Watch on. It's a smart watch. <laughs> Counts how many steps I do. <laughs> I'm just playing. They're cool. <laughs> yeah, that's tight. Stop calling me. I'll hit you in a minute. I'm doing shit real. Did I close my rings today? <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. It's nothing like LA. You could be anything you want to be in LA. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is work at it. I was in Jersey in the middle of nowhere, and now I'm in California where he got his shirt off. We smoke weed in public. Come on, bro. Anything's possible. You got to believe in yourself. <laughs> this man just said that with such confidence, like he came from the actual trenches. It's like, yeah, I was from New Jersey, and now I'm here, you know, out in the streets of LA, smoking with my boys. Doesn't get better than this. Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's not a goal I should be aspiring to accomplish. Bitch, I'm from the stick. Bitch, I'm from the stick. Bitch, I'm from the stick. Bitch, I broke my wrist. Bitch, I broke my wrist. <laughs> on your bitch. <laughs> on your bitch. One guy's not paying attention. Napoleon Dynamite in the background is laughing. <laughs> on your bitch. Like, this has to be satire. Ha! <laughs> huh, yeah. Ha! Ah! Yeah, 336, bitch. 336, bitch. My gang taking over the gang. I hope you with it. Pop me some scripts. Hold up. So the music video, we're, we're still kind of trying to figure out. So we could do this track that we just laid down, but like I, I was thinking, you know, since it's my first music video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Wait, do designer for days. The designer for days. Yeah, right? yeah that's the most okay. polished one. This man. Pixel Face, aka the director, is unhinged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? That's the most okay. polished one. Test on my face, yeah. Guess on my waist, yeah. 
Rest in the safe, yeah. Got packs on the way, yeah. We like uh, shoot with a bunch of girls, like do the wake up at nighttime type vibe. And we're all flossy as yeah, but then we walk out of a I like, like, like 12 deep out of a tent and start our night. And that's what makes it surreal. It makes it more it's like, like dead, like a ghost It's like, town. it's a cop apocalyptic, yeah, 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 yeah. Ghost town. And that's the vibe. Hey, zoom in on this. Don't, yeah. don't do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk drip for a second, right? Kid on the left is wearing a V-Lone, or very alone sweater. No drip. Kid has absolutely no swag. He saw up his game, right? He bought that off Grailed for 250. Give me a break, man. I'm not impressed. Not impressed. <laughs> I'm still digging like that at the bottom. <laughs> I'm a big boy in Los Angeles. Suckle from the nipple. This man just whipped out the baby bottle pop. He's drinking actual Aunt Jemima's maple syrup out of a titty bottle. How am I supposed to take anything you say seriously? Are you kidding me? I ate some mushrooms, man. They had me. Hey, I ate some mushrooms too. I ate some mushrooms. Hey, man. I ate some mushrooms, man. Why is he talking like a stereotypical stoner from LA? Like, it's almost comical how cartoonish this sounds. I was talking with my friend the other day about memetics, right? A symbol or a part of language designed to show other people that you're part of like an in crowd. I have a feeling that this is what this is. He, as a part of a way to fit in, he has this, you know, tone of his voice where he's like, Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> has a transcendental revelation. My name is Joshua, and I should head back to Virginia. <laughs> hey guys, bro. don't do drugs. drugs. Are bad. Don't do drugs. No, 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 Mushrooms are, are real, dude. Drugs they are grow. Bad. They're natural. But if you get good drugs, you know what I mean? Like from a, a reliable source. And like, you know, it's a really lot of people bad. try to tell you they're reliable, but don't yeah, with that unless yeah, they're your homie. Yeah, like yeah, honestly, exactly. dude. If you got some like longevity no. in your relationship with the guy. <laughs> guy is lost in the sauce. <laughs> oh, he's looking like a lizard. I think the final evolution for everyone living in dystopian Los Angeles is just to become your amphibian final form where it's just hot and sunny every day. You just sit on a heating rock. Listen, use your time wisely because that's all you got. Yo, this guy's doing the Fremen sandwalk from Dune up his apartment steps. I like to get up like by 10, you know, so I can have a, a morning. How come when I call you, those are times you're never up? Because it's probably like. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what are you doing? Why does this guy answer the phone for his mom as if he's talking to like an LA baddie or a sneaky link? You know, little shorty on the low. <laughs> what you trying to get into tonight? <laughs> Uh, you know, I've actually got a little film crew here. They want to know what, what I was like when I was a kid. Sweet. <laughs> That's it? That's all you got for me? A terror? I had a brain tumor when I was 16. Yeah, look, look at the scar. Show them the scar, folks. Look. They, they said I'd never you. walk or talk again. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, that. You know what I mean? You can't tell me some shit, like, and that's how I beat the, the whole thing. Don't do it, Phil. Don't do it. You're barely walking. I mean, you shuffle everywhere and you mumble, so you were halfway there. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We can't include that. She gave me this for my birthday this year. Love you forever. Uh, it's a good one. This fool gets into a muck, but the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? She used to sneak into his room every night and sing, I love you forever, I like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby you'll be. Then he like started getting in trouble, whatever, and she starts getting older, and he like breaks into her house and starts like rocking her back and forth when she gets old and like passes away, and it's like, as long as I'm living, my mommy you'll be. That's cute, you know. At least he's reading some thought-provoking literature. Keep the mind sharp at all times. Why do I feel like that's also a message, like, from his mom, you know? Gave him this child's book, and is like, I took care of you as a kid. I'll, I'll always love you forever. And, you know, your mother's not around for all this time, so... 
I better get back here so you can take care of me. Dukes. Mama Dukes in the building. Yes. I wish you were here. I love you. Phone call ends. Existential dread. I dropped out of high school and just started getting this shit, you know, selling drugs, like hustling, doing hustling. stupid shit. I got charges and I decided why, why am I out here doing stupid shit when I could better myself. Why am I doing stupid shit in Virginia when I could be doing stupid shit in a place where doing stupid shit is normalized like Los Angeles? Galaxy brain play, man. I moved out here and handled my shit, and then I, you know, I got into fashion the second I moved out here. That was like the only interest that I've ever really had other than trapping. So I got Boris Bijan socks, Boris Bijan Saberi. All this stuff is one of a kind. It's uh, made out of vintage blankets. It's called the loner blanket. Why do some people treat fashion as if it's like a forefront of their personality? Like, enjoy clothing? Sure, absolutely. Wear cool stuff. Knock yourself out, kid. But it doesn't really take, like, a lot of work, you know? Like, anybody can just buy these clothes and wear it. Right? When I first came out here, I threw parties and shit, and that's where I got all my connections. Everybody, like, wanted to come into the club and, like, da 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 And I kind of, like faked it till I maked it kind of deal. Like people would see me out and like be like, I like your style, will you style something for me? Or I like your steez, will you model this for me? <laughs> this man's admitting to faking it till he made it. Who are you? <laughs> Have you made it yet? It's not like my agency did too much, you know? I was out here just like on my grizzly. And that's what you gotta do. Nobody's gonna do it for you, bro. You haven't done anything yet. You wear clothing for a living and go to the studio and none of your friends pay attention. Oh, turn around, you're reading the shop. Oh, a wild Paris Hilton has appeared. This is the first time where she's not doing a weird voiceover. She's talking to the camera, she's talking to us. She's breaking the fourth wall. Let's see what she has to say. Um, no, turn that way. Fine, don't. I love my life. I feel so blessed. I wouldn't trade this for anything in the world. And the one thing I love most about it is making people happy. Just meeting somebody and seeing the smile on their face and the effect that I've had on certain people. What do you do? <laughs> what service, what advice do you provide to anyone at all ever? I'm so lost. <laughs> She's just like, yeah, my effect on people is insane. They just like melt and smile when I look at them. Yeah, I love my life. My daddy's a billionaire. It's just one of the best feelings in the world. I think as I've been doing this so long that it's just like a part of me. From doing The Simple Life and all these shows and always being on camera, I guess it just comes naturally to me. This is what she just said. Test my face, yeah. Guess on my waist, yeah. Racks in the safe, yeah. Got packs on the way, yeah. Dog, we about to do the first scene in my music video, bruh. First music what video up? ever. Uh, I don't, I can't even explain. The feeling, you know, I, the fan just pulled up. It's, it's a beautiful thing, dog. You wanna shoot kind of like in the, uh, in the alleyway? There he is, the director. Like doors open, moving slow. Yeah. And they're just kind of like, you know, mm -hmm. kind of like, this is like, this is like our statement towards like a rap video, you know what I mean? Pixel face in a nutshell is a genius. That's, that's one way to put it. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay, oh, you're fatty. Should I do a little more? It's gonna make me crazy. Maybe it's a good thing. <laughs> Coke makes you crazy. Is art, it's so next level. So always follow me, always listen to what I say. Okay, everything's gonna go so much faster so I don't have to like shake you guys down. Simple rules, right? Listen to what I have to say. Things go faster and more smooth when we all just pay attention and we're nice and alert, right? It's not that hard, just follow directions. <laughs> say things twice. I'm the director, Josh is the artist. The director has to suck it out of them. You know what I mean? 
You are in my world. You are doing what I tell you to do. All right, everybody, to the alleyway. Ooh, he's scurrying. Hold on, let me get that on the camera. Let me get that on my gram. Hey, Hold no on, fuck it. Work that bitch, man. Hey. <laughs> Man's like, yeah, let me take a video of that Lambo, you know, it's an absolute panty dropper. I'm gonna get nine DMs from different girls being like, oh my god, you saw a Lambo? Like, imagine being so disillusioned that taking a video of a Lambo thinks that you're gonna get anything or anyone. Like, they're a dime a dozen, buddy. Wake up, 2021, you live in LA. Like, it's not that, it's not that crazy. <laughs> All right, playback, action. Give my face, yeah. Guess I'm a waste, yeah. Rex in the safe, yeah. Back up a Go little. Go packs away, yeah. All right, turn up, turn up, turn up. I'm off it. You have to listen. You have to listen to what I'm saying. I'm serious. I'm dead ass. You gotta Hello? listen to what I'm saying. I'm sorry. I said turn up. Hey, you I'll turn up. Okay. This, like, I'm gonna turn right. <laughs> <up. laughs> don't laugh at the director. <laughs> don't laugh at the director. I'm just, just telling you. You don't want to laugh at him. Director comes in, he's like, come on, you just gotta listen to directions. You gotta, you gotta turn up when I say it, all right? When I say party, we all party. Got it? Got it? I salute all the thoughts out there. Keep doing your thing. Thought it up. Thought is a girl that doesn't give a f She just wants some dick, just like you want some pussy. She might be after something, but she ain't getting nothing but this dick. I'm a thought boy, I ain't no f boy. Don't never get that confused. I guess you learn something new every day, you know? I'll never get that confused. I'm a thought boy. I'm a thought boy. I'm a thought boy. In thoughts we trust, bruv. Say your parents call you, right? Yo, yo, what are you doing, honey? What, what do you tell them? I'm on a dumpster trying to turn up for a music video for Josh Scruggins, right? The next biggest thing. And Pixel Face, the director, maybe have you heard of him, mom? What do you mean? No, I'm not coming home. All right, I'm over it. My All right, now we're doing the next scene, but it's not shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> there we go. It's not fucking shut up! What can I say? Finesse in the game. Two hands on my pistol, few grams in my swisher. OG shit, no copies in my gang. Got tats all on my body and a couple on my face. Got a bad You're happy right now? Hell yeah. I'm happy every time I got breath in my lungs. I mean, I'm not supposed to be here, bro. I guess that's kind of endearing. That's charming. That's nice. You know, he says, I'm happy for just being alive. I respect that. I don't think I would have that same answer if I was in his position. I just don't know if I would. You know, I think too much about existing and you know, life in general. I feel like when you just don't care, you can just be happy. I think there's a direct correlation between intelligence and happiness. And the smarter you are, or more conscious, more aware to the dark realities of this world, the harder it is to be happy. <laughs> this man just doesn't care. Like I said, I'm blessed. Too. Come on, we're losing time. Walk across the street. It's not looking good. Director's getting a little antsy. Little fucking antsy. You listen to me, and you do what I tell you to do, and you suffer, you suffer for two hours. Get in trash, rub your titties, bounce on a dead man. Hold up. <laughs> do what now? Get in the trash and rub my titties. Okay, got that part. Bounce on a dead man. You lost me. <laughs> Smoke a blunt. Do whatever the I tell you to do. If you do that, you will look tight as f I love how guys think when they drive fast like that, it's just like, ah! Ah! <laughs> uh. Is everybody ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playback, action! Now your mission is to get to that tent and get those girls in the tent. When I say everybody get in the tent, what does that mean? Why do I feel like you just open up any door in LA and it's either you trip down Alice in Wonderland's rabbit hole, you walk in on a giant demonic orgy, or you know, you stumble upon the director and Joshua Scroggins over here. 
No, you go to the, you guys already have to be in the tent. Like, come over here, get in the tent, get in the tent. God damn it. Rob, get out of the shot. Okay, when I say get everybody get in the big tent, what does that mean? Up my shoot. Oh no. Man was just simmering, right? Now he's boiling. Filming a music video! We're not having fun! I'm not having fun! You gotta appreciate, you know, he's an artist. He wants the best it can possibly be. He doesn't want to deal with these hooligans. We're filming a music video here. I'm not having fun. This is work. I respect that. I, I kind of respect that. <laughs> just don't don't push his buttons this right here is gonna be my alarm clock for the next three months and we're filming a music video that was exhausting exhausting he's back to normal he's kissing people on the cheeks oh thanks for coming by <laughs> meanwhile he just went super saiyan fucking ultra instinct over here oh i mean this is a dream come true. Like, I've been, I've been waiting my whole life to, like, pull off what I just pulled off. I'm excited that this is starting a new inertia. Fools are going to start knowing that I make music now, and maybe this can start a new revenue, and this is what I'm trying to do. So I just want to keep riding my wave and, and, uh, and see where it takes me. I mean, I wish all the best for Josh. I hope this video blows up. I really do. LA is what you make it. If you wanna f kick it with some scumbags and like f around and just do nothing, that's what the f you finna do. You wanna go to the club and be a hood rat and thought it up? You go go thought it up. You know what I'm saying? No, <laughs> I don't. It's going down tonight. We're getting a 3,700 foot little little loft downtown for that pre pre but a blow is airbnb up it's gonna get stupid it's about to go straight up <laughs> got some little, what? And little then, asian girls coming through oh uh, you know what i'm saying little, little hispanic girls coming through she got some big titties it's gonna be a rager bro it's going till nine o'clock in the morning this is gonna be cracking He's got a 3,700 square foot loft Airbnb that he's just gonna throw Project J in. I mean, sign me up, dude. Oh, you hate to see it. Are you? <laughs> Nobody came. <laughs> oh no. Just an absolute sausage party, dude. Me and the fucking boys. I'm a hustler, you know what I'm saying? Lose yourself to find yourself, man. Yeah, bro. I mean, because everybody's confused, bro. And then you got to figure it all out. You got to just get lost. I'm not saying being a hustler is a bad thing. Like, I work hard. I hustle. LA is about making it and trying to survive. Yo, our boy has Miss Butterworth's on deck. Did you see that? He busted out the baby bottle pop again. He restocked. I've seen guys who are a model, club promoter. <laughs> Yo, the editing. I've seen guys who are a model, cut to Josh. Just... <laughs> they're a rapper. They also want to design. Then they're also going out every night. I've been in this town for a long time. And the guys I've seen who lose themselves, a lot of them don't find their way back. Be careful, Josh. You see, at the end, she locked her phone, and I would like to believe she sent that message to Josh, right? Maybe she's fulfilled her duty as the fairy godmother of fame, helps him a little bit, 
But I don't think she did. I think she's just there to exist for B-roll and nothing else. I hope Josh has a long, prosperous career as a rapper in LA, and I hope Pixelface is by his side, making the best music videos he possibly can. Vice, if you're watching this, hire me instead of Paris Hilton, or maybe me and Paris can be like a, a tag team duo, help these people, steer them in the right direction. She can keep doing her thing with like the B-roll voiceovers, right? Not really adding much value. I'll come in with the hard-hitting facts. I got you. I got you. Follow me on Twitch at Philly on Live. We have a second channel called Philly on Live. Follow the Sunday Sauce podcast, posted every Sunday and Wednesday if you're a member. Discord link in the description box. Follow me on Instagram at Philly on. And uh, I can't wait till the next one.